In the opening match of the Tri-Nation series, Zimbabwe were beaten by Bangladesh quite comfortably in the end. Tamim Iqbal remained not out on 82 during the run chase. Earlier it was Sheikh Ibal Hussan who pegged the Zimbabweans with two blows in the first over of the game. Bangladesh had won the toss and opted to field first at the Shuri Bangla National Stadium. After an early dent in the first over, Brendan Taylor along with opener Hamilton Maskadza provided some stability to the batting side but Mashraf Mortaza removed Maskadza to break the partnership. Sikander Raza along with Peter Moore were the only batters who presented some resistance to the Bangladeshi bowling. Raza scored a slow half-century, 52 off 99 deliveries and hit two fours and two sixes in his innings. Moore managed 33 off 58 deliveries and he too hit two boundaries. Shakib accounted for three wickets in the innings. He received equal support from all the bowlers which helped them fold out Zimbabwe for just 170 runs. Over dependence on Solomon Zimbabwe never recovered from the initial setback skipper Graham Creamer feels. Creamer told the reporters that the momentum shifted in favour of the Bangladeshi side after the first two wickets in the opening over itself and that they never managed to regain it. He said that they rely on Solomon Myers batting in the power play and his wicket didn't do them any good. We look to Solomon to power those 10 overs, so it is always tough to lose him early. Irvine steadies the innings, so to lose him also was really tough, said the skipper. He also talked about the fact that Bangladesh opted to start the bowling with the spin from both the ends and that it surprised them. Our openers like pace on the ball. They know that. We thought they would open with one spinner at least. We didn't know if it was going to be Shakib or Nazr. We thought one of them might open, Creamer told reporters.